hello everyone you're welcome to my channel so today i want to show you guys how i pad my princess bustiers first of all i make use of cloth stay some people call it air stay some people call it fusible interfacing so i make use of two layers on all the pieces of my fabric from here i go over to iron them on my pattern pieces on all of it so this is my middle pieces and the two side pieces please make sure to note your important point which is your bust point your on the bus, your waistline, okay. So after notching, we'll go over to creating a middle panel wording. So just that point where your armhole is going to connect, that's the side panel is going to connect with the middle, okay. Just rule it across. That is where your wording is going to start from. That is where your wording is going. To so you're just going to rule it like so. Now to know where to stop at the bottom, just come down half inch from your underbust, okay? Come down by half inch from your underbust. That is where the wording is going to stop at the bottom, okay? It won't get to your waist. So now this is the wording I'm going to use. It is the medium wording. It has two sides, the gummy sides and the normal side. Now to cut the bottom for the middle panel, just fold your fabric like so into two because we are going to trace it out we want to trace out just fold like so into two this is what we are going to be placing on our wording okay so now your wording is like so just fold and place your main fabric on top of it and then you pin it down so it won't, you pin it down like so so that it's not going to move okay so the next thing you're going to do is to trace it out just trace it out like so very easy Trace it up to that point that will mark half inch below your on the bust line. Then just square across like that. So that's what you're just going to do. Take out your pins, then square it up across like so. And you can cut it out just like that. So just cut it out. So you're going to cut out the top like so. And that is what we have okay this is what we have I want you guys to see everything you place it on top the shiny part that has the gum so now we'll go over to the sides you come down from your under bust by half an inch just the way we did for the middle then at that pointed tip there on your arm hole area you come down by three inches because your wording is not supposed to get to your sewing or seam allowances now just give it a curve we are trying to create a bust cup we are trying to create a bust cup here okay now from your side go in by one inch or 1.5 same thing your wording is not supposed to get to your sewing allowance okay we're just going to give it that cup so this cup is going to help us hold our bust very well even without a bra okay you don't need a bra with this pattern you don't need a bra right now you're going to fold your wording into two just like we did for the middle we're going to trace it out like so just watch what i'm doing mark that tip there that three inches you came down by and just trace it out to that point okay so now to get the sides you're just going to hold your fabric down and raise it up Hold it down, raise it up and mark. Hold it down, raise it up and mark where your hand is. And you just cover it like that, okay? Now, this is what we are trying to achieve. Put it back, your fabric back and note your bust point. Very important. So, this will help you align it well on your fabric. So, you just cut. And we're going to have two pieces since it's on fold. And you also take note of your under bust. Take note of your underboss. That's what I was doing. Okay. Take note of your underboss right there. Yeah. This is what we have. This is what we have right now. And take a look at it. You're going to place the gummy side on that like so. Place the gummy side and iron. Okay. Now we have ironed. If you don't have iron, there's no problem. You can use your pin. So this is the middle part. Okay. We have ironed and this is the side. Can you see that roundness that we did? It's going to help us have our cup. So to sew, we are just going to find the right sides for each 
of the panel find the right side okay match your notches please make sure that's why notches are Taylor's best friends please notch so we're going to place the knot like so and you're going to gently guys when it comes to sewing princess that there's no rush and please make use of pins there's no expert in this. make use of your pins okay so i'm pinning it down and i'm just going to show you you're going to gently look at what i'm doing you're going to gently align it make sure your notches match each other at each point okay slowly 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 that's how you're going to sew it till it gets to that point can you see the roundness right now can you see that cup that we have there all right now we are on the sewing machine we're going to start this is how you place it right sides to each other okay right sides facing each other and you're going to start sewing from the hem that's from the down okay so guys i'm absolutely sorry i had no idea that my tripod stand was close to my machine and it was shaking while i was sewing so please forgive me okay i will make a clearer one very soon so now we're going to sew straight down so now the trick to this guys make sure that your notches are matching again and from your hemline either if it's a blouse or just to your waist sew a straight line down to your underbust if it ends on your waist sew a straight line from your waist down to your underbust let that part be straight then when you get to your underbust leave your needle inside raise it up raise your footer up and bend it like so are you seeing it then now this is where the work starts gently you are going to be sewing it on each other look at it the part that is down eh? the down part you don't touch it you are gently going to feed this one at the top this curve one at the top into the one at the down gently and you're going to sew it round you're going to follow the boss curve are you seeing it matching my notch you see my notch just sew it round follow the curve of the side panel just sew it round gently sew and stop make sure it is straight do not rush okay gently gently just sew it on it don't pull on the one at the bottom you are just going to make sure that the one at the top fits into the one at the bottom okay and you sew it round like so when you do that you won't have excess or shortage at that armhole point there some people even with the extension they still have shortage because they didn't cover it well they didn't sew it properly okay now this is the other side look at what we have you can see we'll get to see it clearly very soon so this is the other side this is the other side now look at it again now the rounded part the side panel is at the bottom so sew a straight line down to your underbust that line must be straight using your half inch allowance when you get to that point when you get to your, under, your underbust leave your needle inside raise your footer up okay raise your footer up and bend to follow the curve so now you follow the curve gently now you see that this top part is now having the straight side what you do you are going to feed this straight part into that curved area okay if you sew it straight it won't have cup so just pin matching your notches pin here is quite difficult this other side so you do it gently you can see i'm arranging so that we don't have any parts squeezed or folding all right so just pin arrange it okay once you do it once or twice you get a hang of it just keep adjusting it making sure that that half inch that you're going to sew on is not squeezed or is not folding okay just look at it gently you are going to i told you to follow the cover the down are you seeing the way i'm covering my hand now are you seeing it curve it yes just curve like so that's how you get it follow the curve i'm trying to remove my pin now because it's stopping my needle okay so now just match mark and um, sorry match your notches okay sewing it round just follow 
the curve that you drafted okay like so round then now we're going to the straight part you see it's still matching at the top because you follow that curve i had no idea this was shaking guys so please forgive me please okay so now you notch notch all this curve area notch your under boss notch your waistline notch every of this curve so now this is the inside of what we have you see i have notched everywhere now this is what you have okay we are we have not ironed this so this is what you have when your clients puts it puts this on there's no need for bra or when you put this on there's no need for bra so this is it this is what we're able to achieve using that slow technique to sew so what you the bust area separates the wording from the fabric and cut it off to remove bulk to remove the bulkiness on that part okay then you iron it this is what we have this is what we have now you can cut your neck if you want cut out the neckline sorry <laughs> not your neck <laughs> cut out the neckline so you see there's no expert in this i tried even as much as i tried we see that place was still folding so i'm going to lose it and resew it again i just want to show you that there's no perfection just try it it's going to work out okay it's going to work out this is it now this is it on my mannequin this is on my mannequin it's not the size but i just pinned it so are you seeing the smooth transition here see it from the boss to the on the boss that is how yours should be thanks for thank you so much guys for watching so please share with your friends